Here's that old well looking thing or whatever it is. No, it's long. Hmm. What could that have been, guys? Looks to be about 10 foot long concrete. Hmm. That's creepy. Creepy. And yes, it is raining. Broken glass everywhere. Phew, spider webs in my face. Everything's broken. We're out at that creepy spot here, and uh, you can see this depression right here uh, that kind of creeps me out because it's almost uh, like a square shape. So I'm not sure what it is, but I'm not going to step on it. So you can see that we did go out today and we did do some bottle hunt hunting. And uh, we got a few things. This is a nice little bottle. It has a little bit of a purpley cast to it. Tiny little bottle. No real markings on it. This one here is a nice tiny little bottle with a greenish tint. And it has I-T-C-H-E on the bottom. Which uh, you probably won't be able to focus with this thing here but I tried looking it up and I can't find anything on it <clears throat> it's just a tiny little bottle and this one here even though it's broke I went ahead and brought it home because it says Pompeian massage cream and I looked it up and it's probably from around 1910 to the 1920 range, just in that range. So I did uh, bring home a few more things. <clears throat> and uh, some I have. This, I mean, it's just a broken piece, but you can see what it would have been at one time. A nice purple cast. That's just uh, so so sad to see stuff like that just bust the pieces out there. And this, <clears throat> this one here probably would have been a butter dish at one point. It's uh, kind of shaped like, like that. And other than that, I... Oh, yeah, see, I just busted that. Just busted that doing that. But this is uh, not a... I mean, this is just an average bottle, and I do already have some of these. <clears throat> um, this is a mystery. <laughs> it's metal. It's not heavy. Um, 
doesn't open, has a seam. I saw another one of these out there, but I just picked up this one. So, I didn't have a clue on that one. And then I just, uh, I got some more of these bottles, which they need to be cleaned up. And uh, I found this. That would have been a huge old uh, salt or pepper shaker. Huge. That thing's as big as the palm of my hand. Some more jar inserts. Finding quite a few of those out there. Um, this one has the lid on it. And just some more basic jars there. So this is one more thing. I just picked it up because I saw it laying there. And this purple was just, just uh, jumping out at me. And even though it's broken, I don't have any idea what kind of bottle this would have been. But you can see it, it was a nice purple. And it started to have some fancy pattern here. So, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why... So much of this is broken. I, I, at this point, I don't even know if this was a dump, uh, like city dump, because I was told there was a city dump at this place, or if it is a uh, dump, just a bottle dump from a whoever maybe lived there. You know, no, I, nobody lived there, so it couldn't be that. Uh, that's where the coal mines were, but I couldn't can't fathom seeing this kind of stuff um, where the coal mines were you know why would why would this stuff be there there also was an old brick and tile factory there and I could tell that by the num by the amount of brick and tile I'm seeing and this is all mixed in with it all this glass is mixed in with it so I'm still trying to do a little more research on this. I'm trying to find out uh, basically where all this stuff is washing down from. Uh, it's uh, kind of a mystery. But you know me, I like mysteries and I like digging into stuff and I'll let you know what I find out.